Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you that how we can make this beautiful Swiss cheese theory diagram in PowerPoint. I will also teach you that how we can make it animated in PowerPoint also. So let's start it to design it first. For this I will take a rectangle and I will adjust its size. Then after that I will give its fill color as well as its outline color. When I make outline color so I will uh, insert a circle and draw a, cir uh, a circle in this rectangle and make it to the center line and to an as well as middle line. After that I will drag and take a copy from this circle to the left side then we'll take another copy from it and we'll change its size of the circle so it's look a little bit different from each other after that i will just take a whole copy from the whole structure to make another cheese so for this to make a cheese i will just select the rectangle and the circle after that i will go to the shape format and then we'll go to the subtract so now you can check it that how beautiful cheese is is make is made now i will do i will repeat the same process for making the other cheese so i will speed it a little bit Now you can see that how beautiful five cheeses are made with different structures. So after that I will select all the cheese. Then I will go to the format shape and the format shape I will go here. And then I will change the rotation. X, X is rotation up to almost 300. You can change according to yourself. I change it to 310 degree. I will also change the depth so that it should give a 3d structure to my design okay so you i will just take it i will just um, also do some y rotation y axis rotation and i will make the y axis rotation up to 20 degree After that, I will just little bit adjust these uh, cheese diagrams, uh, these cheese structures. And I then I will take a 3D sphere, a 3D cylinder structure and consider it a hazardous material or hazardous uh, object that uh, from which the radiation are coming out. From which we will make rays that the carcinogenic or dangerous rays are coming out from it. So I will um, place it here. After that, I will little bit adjust the cheese so it uh, is proper distance from each other. Now I will go to the insert. In the insert, I will go to the icons. In the icons, I will download a main icon. I will just select this one and go to the insert. As you see that this main icon has been downloaded, so I will resize its structure. Up to this size it is enough. I will uh, change the color of this main to some yellowish color. I think it's not looking good, so I will change it to orange color. Now it's looking clearly. After this, I will take this uh, shape and draw a line so that it will show that the rays is passing from this cheese, which a hole. 
so I will make it such a line so that it look a 3d design okay so I will change the color into red and I will adjust it with up to four four and a half or three three point is looking good so I will just select this one and as well as this and we'll send it to bake okay so now you see that the, the line is coming into cheese but the line is little bit thin so I will make it with a little bit high now you can see it oh, how beautiful a line is made now I will go again and uh, take another uh, line so that the line should pass and draw in such a way that the line is coming out from the cheesiest from the cheese hole okay so and it is reflected from the second cheese so I will just take a format printer and select this line so now you are looking that how beautiful this design is made and it looks like a 3d design so i will select it again and make the little bit adjustment with it then i will select it and go to the shape outline and make arrow to the one head of the line so it uh, shows that the rays is reflected from the cheese. Then I will uh, take another line, and this time the cheese, uh, and this time the rays is not passing from the cheese, but it will reflect from the cheese and go back, like this one. And I will change its color to red but before that I will draw another line these both lines are not passing from the cheese so I will send it to bake and deselect this one and just these two rows uh, two lines I will select it and make it sweat up to 4.5 uh, points and make it red color and also apply the arrow to the head of the lines now it's look a little bit fine but let me do some adjustment with it now let's make it a little bit more uh, beautiful the diagram so i will take another circle and i will change the color into red and I will write one so that this is the first cheese and you can change the font color to black then I will take a copy from this and place it here for the second cheese then for the third cheese and then for the fourth cheese then for the five, fifth cheese then I will just change the uh, number in it after that uh, I will make it a little bit more beautiful so at the footer I will draw a rectangle and will change its color into yellow after the footer we will take a copy from it and we'll just uh, make it a little bit bigger so it will be for the header so here I will write some text here let me write some Swiss cheese theory diagram then I will adjust its font size and uh, font style etc I will also change the color of the header then I will go to icon and the icon I will add extra icon stop icon where the erase has been stopped so I will just select this and will insert I will take this and place on the second cheese where the rays is being reflected so I will place it here and change its color into red then I will write some text here so that uh, that it easily understandable that these are the hazardous materials so I will uh, write hazards Now we will animate the rays 
in this PowerPoint. So I will go to animation, go to the web animation. I will select the web and after that, I will go to this web from left side and then we'll animate this part and then we'll select this part so that also move from left to right. Then I will select it that it will start after previous. Now you see that this animation are not looking good. So that the first one is fine, but the second one is making a little bit dif uh, difficulty. So I will just delete this point and I will need to make another line. So mm, now you can check it that why I want I delete this point. You can see it that the animation is not looking fine. It is uh, looking awkward. So that's why I will delete this one point. I'll delete this point. And I will go to the insert and take another line from here. And we'll draw extra line here so that I can easily animate each part of my graphics. That is the simple point for this. I will adjust its size and uh, width, etc. Now I will select it and animate this part and we will go in from this time it will reflect so it will move from the right side. I will select it, it will start after the previous. Now I will adjust the other two lines also with the same uh, technique so I will make it a little bit faster. Now it is fine. I make each part a separate of the graphics. So I will select this part and we'll go to the wipe animation. And the wipe animation, I will select the epic from left. And for the second part, I will select the wipe animation and this time the epic from the right because it is reflected. So it will go from left, but the reflection will from the right side. The line will go in the left side, but the reflection will from the right side. So I will do this one also the same. Then after select all these uh, lines and we'll select start after previous. Now I will add some animation to this point also. And this I will select, for this I will select zoom. So it will appear as zoom, but I will adjust its timing so that it should appear when the rays hit the second cheese you can see it when the rays come to a second cheese so that it appear now i will make it a little bit more interesting so i will just change it to appear and will add another animation which is blank animation so i will go to the mpc's uh, effect and here i will select blank i will select ok I will just double uh, just take it here then click on it and we'll go to the effect option and the effect option I will go here and we'll repeat the same process for the three times so it will blink three times in a PowerPoint. I will adjust the timing so it will start after previous and each blink it should will be half second. So now let's see that how it look like. Now you can see it how beautifully it it animate three times that the phrase is being blocked here. So this one animation has been made. I take a duplicate slide from it. And when I take the duplicate slide, I will leave only those cheese which have center hole and will remove all the cheeses which have no central hole. I will arrange these cheese for the next design and animation. So this cheese has been uh, placed uh, for the next design. So now I will just uh, do extra animation so that the line should pass from each cheese and will hit them in. And I will select this line and bring up to here. Why I don't take a single line? Because the single line don't look like that it is passes from this 3D structure. So I just take each separate line for this okay now I will bring it to front 
take this line and let's repeat the same process for all the trees. So all this completed. Now I will come here. The I will make uh, the line in such a way that it is passing from this small hole and hit the second cheese. And after the second cheese, it reflected. Now uh, I will make it a reflection from the second cheese so that this this the so that this line is for us from the first cheese but it is reflected from the second cheese and I will then adjust this when all the lens are made so then i will make all these animation adjusted by time so that each part is appear after the previous so i will just adjust its timing nothing else now i will add some extra graphics for the main so that when it reaches the main so it will show that some destruction is occur so for this i will select this graphics and i will drag it here so i will just select this yellow color and a red outline and for animation i will go here and i will select the appear animation so this graphic should appear and after appear it also uh, and after appear it also false so i will select the false animation and i will just double click on it and we'll go to a timing and the timing i will select it three times so that it falls three times the animation and i will just select and right click on it and go after previous and I will take the copy from the hazard and will place it on the top of the main and will write the text that the accident is occur here. So I will write an in accident incident. Now I will take this top uh, sign from here and I will place the stop sign on the second slide also because the the sum sum rays because the sum rays has been stopped on the second cheese so now i will adjust its timing so i will take this stop graphic this stop graphic after the second race has been appear so i will adjust its animation timing so that this stop graphic should appear when the second cheeses a uh, cheese has been hit okay now let's see that's how beautiful this animation has been made and how it's looking fine thank you very much for watching the videos if you have any question feel free to ask in comment section if you have any topic on your mind that you want uh, animated presentation on it so feel feel free to ask in the comment section